How to be a pro in Arsenal Roblox Mobile. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we'll show you guys how to be a pro in Arsenal Roblox Mobile. Let's start our video. Arsenal is an FPS first person shooter game on Roblox made by the Raw V community based on the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Game Mode Arms Race, which is available for all platforms, including mobile and the PC browser. The mobile version of Arsenal is quite similar to the PC version. The addition of thumb controls and other mobile stuff makes it easier to play with the thumbs and use claw, just like other games such as PUBG Mobile or Apex Legends Mobile. To be a pro at Roblox Arsenal, you have to get some skills to kill all the survival tips in Arsenal. You should be different from all other enemies in the game. Tips and tricks. In Arsenal, the aim is the most important thing. If your objective is too bad, you're probably bad in Arsenal. All you have to do is just play the game and try to move as many people as you can. The second tip is you want to keep moving. If you don't in Arsenal, you're probably going to get the third tip is if you want to keep getting headshots or try to get a headshot because of doing headshots, you're going to do a lot more damage. You want to keep running with a knife. You don't want to run with a gun because it will take you a while. The fifth tip is you want to back step and you want to take back steps because if you do one back step, you're going to kill a person. And if you do like three front steps, it's going to be really hard to get three front steps. So you just want to get one back step. The next tip, the most important and the needed one is FPS, frames per second. Everyone wants higher FPS, more and more FPS in the game, which makes the game way smoother and less laggy. Having more FPS with less shuddering and other lags leads to victory. Bunny hopping. Bunny hopping is a first person shooter gaming style. The player runs and continuously leaps frequently while firing a weapon. BHOP is more prevalent in online multiplayer games such as PUBG, CSGO, and Apex Legends. But this tip can easily be used in Roblox, especially in shooting games like Arsenal. Do not stand still in the match. Always get your player moving around and jumping so that you can avoid getting shot. Bunny hopping can distract opponents from their game and allow the hopper to attack. So make sure you BHOP every time in the match to dodge the bullets. Sensitivity. Having a low sensitivity in the game is always better. You can make smaller, more accurate movements with lower sensitivity. Lower sensitivity can assist you in preventing overshooting your target when snapping your crosshairs to an enemy. Lower sensitivity smooths out other natural twitches and micro adjustments when playing. Whenever you kill people, if you're damaged from that fight, if you kill someone, run up to their body and pick up the green health pack. You usually don't need the ammo because you're going to be switching guns pretty quickly if you're getting kills, but the health pack always helps. It does take a second or two, like one or two seconds to actually pick up the health pack. And that's the purpose of the delay in the game. So you can just instantly heal if you're in a fight, but it's fine if you're done fighting already. You're about to approach some more enemies. You want to go ahead and run over the person's body that you just killed. And this will allow you to pick up their health pack and heal up, which will prepare you for the next fight. Scope. Suppose you notice that there's a physical scope on your gun. In that case, the gun that you're using probably has a usable scope. All you have to do is right click. You'll scope down that and you know if you're not used to CSGO type games, this will help you out because then you can have guns that are more like Call of Duty where you can aim, so just be wary of that. Of course, this applies to all snipers in the game. All the snipers have scopes, so yes, you can scope with those too. Few of the weapons of the game, such as the snipers, the little tom, the spaz, the slingshot, the M14 also have a bunch of other weapons. You can actually hold down the left click of these weapons will pretty much be automatic as you can see. And if you just hold down the left click, some of the weapons will just keep firing and you don't have to spam your click, which actually helps some of these especially the little tom whenever i found out that you can actually do this with the little tom i never stopped using this feature it's beneficial with the little tom and it's beneficial with the slingshot because the slingshot has unlimited ammo so you can just hold down your left click and continuously firing slingshot bullets at people doing a bunch of damage so just be aware of that as there are a lot of weapons even if they don't seem automatic you can actually still hold the left click at them and shoot a bunch of shots at once and deal a bunch of damage at the same time you can actually hold down and charge the Z80 pistol if you don't know this. So whenever you do this, if you do hold down the left click, the pistol will charge up. And if you hit someone whenever it's fully charged, it can actually kill them in one hit. So it's beneficial. So make sure that you charge up that pistol. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye until next time.